students welcome back let's continue with the distributed systems the next topic in this is, uh, subject is a distributed transactions actually you know the concept of the transactions because whatever you are doing uh, the things the regular life things uh, if you are withdrawing the money from the atm that is one transaction if you are giving uh, something to your friend it's one type of transaction if you are taking something to your fr from your friend is one type of transaction so uh, in the database management system or in the operating system whatever the subject you are taking that is taking uh, in those you already know the transaction the transaction is having the uh, follows the acid property that you already know now I want to explain you how the transaction will be taking place in the distributed environment because we are dealing with the distributed system right so now let's see the distributed transactions so I think you know the what exactly the transaction. So just now I tell the example that is withdrawing the money from the ATM is your just transactions. First you withdraw some 100 rupees, next 500 rupees. So each thing is a transaction. So before entering into the distributed transaction, I want you people to sort out what is the tra uh, centralized transaction and the distributed transaction. So what is the main difference between them? If you want to know the main difference between those, let's see the execution part of the centralized and the execution part of the distributed in this video. Okay. So this is the diagram of transaction in uh, transaction of execution in centralized and distributed transaction execution. So if you see this diagram, you can clearly understand what is the main difference here. Did you observe? This is only a single system. It's a centralized okay it's a centralized let's take this is server and these are all the client in the centralized system you are having multiple clients and only one server will be there but in the distributed environment you are having so many servers and so many clients okay so now see the transaction execution in centralization first the user application so many user applications will be there that are first enter into the transaction manager okay so first this is this ending with a some messages like begin transaction read write and if you want what type of uh, information that you want to give you can give that to the transaction manager now the transaction manager uh, read write and about the end of the transaction message will be sent to the scheduler now the scheduler is going to send that scheduled op operations to the recovery manager now here the recovery manager will perform that operation means whether it has to read whether it has to write or it has to be aborted or it has to be do the end of transaction so whatever that message that uh, that he he will find out and send that result again to the scheduler and that result will again send to the transaction manager and that result or any user notifications will be sent to the user application so here this is the sender and this is the receiver and here is the coordinator. Let us take here is the coordinator. Okay. So, so this is the main person here. Here this is a transaction execution and centralization. Then what about the distributed transaction execution? How it takes place? So here only one user application is there. That user application uh, is going to be used by different machines. Okay, this is a shared resources. The shared resources will be used by different machine. So each machine is having the transaction manager, scheduler and the recovery manager. Okay, so the user application will start the work with begin transaction and it has to do the operations like either read or write or end of transactions or about. Okay, now the transaction manager will send that message to the scheduler with read, write, end of transaction and about. Now the scheduler will send that to the recovery manager. So this is a person who find out what action that mean they have to be performed. That result will be sent, performed and result will be sent to the scheduler. Okay. And here the scheduler can send that message to any one of the system. Okay. Any one of the system. Okay. And here after sending that the results and user notification again given to the user application. Either this system or this system. 
okay so this every system is maintained with a distributed transaction execution model and replica control model the transaction manager is having the distributed transaction execution model and replica model and whereas the scheduler is holding the distributed concurrency control protocol and the recovery manager is having the local recovery protocol so this is how uh, the execution will be taking place in the centralized uh, environment and in the distributed environment okay so the first thing before entering into the distributed transactions let me want you to clear how the execution taking place the transactions you can call transactions also how the transactions are taking place in the centralized and the transactions taking place in the distributed thank you